Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday night, and these two teams are feeling it. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback in North Dakota State. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. They'll go with Snell here on first down. They find some open field here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On second down, it's Snell. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe the first big test of the season here on both sides. This is third and goal. He may try and run for this. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. What are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Shotgun now for Wentz. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that will be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Murray, forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. 
Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got it. And the pressure gets to him again. Now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. To throw is Murray, rolling to his right. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Murray now on first down. This one complete to Christian Kirk. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Buying time to his left. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Second and goal from the one. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for six. Touchdown Cardinals. Punching it in from a yard away. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. 14 yards there and an Eagle first down. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah. Throwing his wins. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Mississippi to Mississippi. Look, he had all day to throw the football and never got rid of it and allowed for the sack. That's not on the offensive line. This will be fielded at the 17. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Throwing is Murray on third down. And that will be incomplete. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. This one into the hands of Hurd. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Again, it's Wins. That's complete to Marlon Mack. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Here's Wentz to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Wentz now nearly perfect. Nine of 10 in this first half. It's first and 10. 
They'll run him now out of the gun. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down, it's Mack. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. It's holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. Sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. Now Wentz on third down. They'll run the screen with Mack. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. They just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. They have the lead. you got to think there's going to be more involved at some point. That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Yeah, well, so far, just the single catch. Throwing on second and eight. Murray steps away to his left. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Ricky Seals-Jones, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Play action. Now it's Murray. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. Third and about three to go. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field. And that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and ten at the 20. Starting the drive with a give to Mack. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. On second down, here's a run with Mack. I remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Wentz now on first down. Into the hands of his running back, Marlon Mack. To throw again on second down. Wentz. And that's caught inside the 30. And all. 22-yard line. Wentz now on first down. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Wentz to throw again. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurd there to make the grab. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. First down, Murray. And an alley to run. 
He made his first attempt, this from 45. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, where it was the visiting Bengals who were able to come away with the road victory. Josh Rosen, two touchdown passes, as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in their ball game as they beat the visiting Washington Redskins. 14-10, the final. Week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a pretty slick return there as he's up just shy of the 45-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And to give this time to the tailback. Whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Murray going to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Morton. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. On second down, here's Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. It's a six. Pull it. Ha. Check this guy. Hey, watch that. Hey. Murray with a third and long. Open man is Kirk. Complete. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over, and uh, it's a big kick. That's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. On first down, it's Mack. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Now Wentz. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Open man is heard. It's complete. They'll run on first down. Matt. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Play action, now wins. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? Yes, they're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, but, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Murray. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, and you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Wentz. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Wentz now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They fake the give. Now Wentz. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. Nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. On first down, Snell. They're going to run again with Snell. And this time not as successful. It's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. It's right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to throw up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Shotgun now for Wentz. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but... It's been a tough goal for him. And got his man complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Yards. And the Cardinals have once again taken the lead. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. A nice pickup on first down, seven yards. They run the draw play with Mack. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing his wins. And that is incomplete. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Starting the drive with Snell. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Now a handoff here to his running back. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Some pretty good games all weekend. We may have saved the best for last. This Monday night game has been a dandy. Six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down and four, Murray. And this is going to wind up incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 
And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Murray. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Murray now to throw. Steps away. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. So first and goal. Six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Drive, you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Murray now, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Wentz going to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. 20 and a first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Eagles on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Wentz now to throw, and that is incomplete. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that the contract time. You, you could have kicked this midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Murray. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. On first and 10, here's Murray. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. Uh, people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Again, second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Well, he's going to go for it all. And that'll be incomplete. The windows are so tight. He's going to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives, they've ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions, maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively. Goes down. Blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, he really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. To throw is Murray. Oh, he had six points in his hands there from the 21 at second and 10. Back to throw it. Murray. They'll roll him out right. He'll run it. 
He's got the first down inside the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kyler Murray. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cardinals push further out in front. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount. And he is going to go down. So now Wentz and the Eagles down by 15. A little over 80 ticks to go. Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He's got his man on the crossing route. Wentz going to lead his guys up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And he's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> now I'm listening to you. So for Arizona, it's a great win here on a Monday night as they'll start the new campaign 1-0.